let's talk opening and closing doors in our lives. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel yet again. Thank you guys for coming. Um, before I begin, same situation as before. I'm in my car, I'm on the road, but this time I have a mic. So hopefully um, the background noise from the vehicles passing wouldn't really affect us too much. So without any further ado, I don't want to yap for too long. <laughs> so let's get right into the video. So as I said in the introduction to this video, we're going to talk about closing some doors in our lives. So usually I would start with a Bible verse to reference to, but as we get more into the video, I'll... I'll draw back to those bible verses or i'll mention those bible verses okay so have you ever been in your room and like your parents or your siblings they come in and they come to talk to you and when they finish talk to you and they're ready to leave they walk out of the room but they don't close the door properly like they, they pull it with the intention to close it but they just have that little gap and then you have to get up now and you have to actually close the door now that same little gap allows air to come into your room or mosquitoes or flies or anything of that sort and you imagine you comfortable in your bed the ac cold and and that little gap bringing that hot air that's seeping into your room what's the first thing you wish you wish that your parents or your siblings did close that door properly now my question to you is why you didn't close that door in your life properly in the first place. Let me dig into it. Now, everybody had or currently have some doors in their life that they need to close, right? So, my question, as I previously said before, is why you just didn't close the door properly in the first place? Now, you have to get out of your comfort zone, of where you was comfortably laying down in your bed in your nice AC to get up and close the door. Spiritually, is you versus you. In the same instance where that little gap could bring hot air into your room. Spiritually, only you know and God, only you and God know what is behind that door. And that little gap will bring the temptation that is behind that door back into your life. Back into that comfort zone that you were in. Little by little, because it could be a little gap. It could be just this this little bit. But anyhow you take it, when you're in an AC room, the warm air from outside is coming in little by little through that gap. Spiritually, the little temptation that you have behind that door is coming in little by little by little because your door is not closed properly, but there's just a little gap. And now, you might want to get up one time to close the gap, but... If you're scrolling on YouTube, you're scrolling on TikTok, you're on Instagram, you're talking to your friends on WhatsApp, you might say, bye, I'll get up in that 20 minutes to close that door. But in that 20 minutes, right, there's more air coming into your room. You're in your nice AC, but more hot air keep coming in and coming in and coming in. And eventually, your room going to start to change temperature and it's going to start to get hot and you're going to have to get up to close the door. We come back to spiritually now. The longer you take to close that door, with that little gap, the temptation is going to keep coming. And it's going to keep coming little by little by little because your door is not closed properly. Now let's talk when you get up to go and close the door. Alright, so we're off we bed now. We're still in we call AC and we're still behind the door. But we're off the bed and we're going up to close the door now. What's the first thing that you feel when you get close to that door? automatically you feel that gap of hot air hitting you straight on your face but this time you're feeling it at full force because the air is directly in front of your face you standing face to face with that hot air that coming in between the gap coming back to the temptation you come back to the door you're right behind the door you're ready to close that door but that that rush of temptation hitting you directly in your face what you're gonna do is stand up behind the door you're ready to close it, but that temptation, it's in your full blast in your face. You're getting the full effects of it, everything. What are you going to do? You're going to close that door and go back to the comfortable position you were in, which for the um, purpose of this analogy, I'm going to say somewhere good. 
Maybe it just came out of something. Maybe it just went through something and you're finally ready to take a little break and, and just relax a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Or would you now be tempted to go back into that room that you now stepped out of? It's something to think about. It's obviously sometimes very difficult for us to, to close the door in our lives, right? And it, it's, it's way easier said than done that you could just get up and close that door and return back to where you were. Because when that temptation hits, it does make you want to go back to where you were. But you've grown spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Do you really want to go back to that place? Or do you want to continue leveling up? Just like some steps. You're on the first one, your foot on the second one. You want to bring your foot back down or you want to keep climbing. You want to keep climbing because as you keep climbing, you're getting closer to the Lord. And the Lord brought you out of that. And as you continue to close doors in your life, as God continues to lead you and direct your footsteps, you're going to just keep growing and get closer to Him. And yes, the battle is going to come and the battle is going to become tougher. But as you continue to seek the Lord and seek the Lord spiritually and truthfully, He will lead and direct your steps as needed and He will put you on the correct path that you need to go on. So I think it's fair to say that it's time to close some doors in our lives. Even the ones with the little gap, with the little temptation. A simple temptation could be like this. You used to drink, okay? You used to drink alcohol, all right? And your friends invite you to go out. You say you're not drinking, but you're going. Your friend's drinking, that's no problem. I go in, but I'm not drinking. Now, I sit down by the table, and all my friends have a beer in their hand. They might say, hey... Just take one now, just take one. That's that little air. That's that little air gap allowing that little temptation to, to seep in. So are you going to stick to your word and say, no boy, I'm not drinking? Or are you going to say, um, you know what? It's just one. It's just one bear. That just one bear is you pulling that door slightly open a little more when you could have just close it. When... You know the friends that you're liming with or any situation that you're in. I just drawing a reference here. You know you could have avoided that by saying, hey, I'll sit out on this one, maybe the next one. You have to do what's right for you because you have to answer to your sins. You have to answer to God. Your friend not going to answer for you. Your mother not going to answer for you. Your father not going to answer for you. You have to stand before the Lord and answer for what you did. You have to take accountability for your actions. Now, I'm going to draw reference to a very popular Bible verse, and that is Jeremiah 29 and 11, which I'll put up here. And it goes along the lines of, for I know the plans I have for you, uh, plans to prosper you, not to harm you. I'll put the full thing here. Sorry, a vehicle was passing, that was playing music. But along the lines of the Bible verse, which stated somewhere here in the video, the Lord knows the plans that he has for us and nobody is a greater planner than the God of hope, the God of miracles, the God of second chances, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He planned our lives, he made us and he knows and he ordained every footstep. Just trust the Lord. It's easier said than done. It's easier said to surrender. It's, it's way easier said than done but it's totally worth it because as we said, we're trying to level up in life. And part of doing that is closing some doors in our lives that that we were in, some rooms that we were in, and stepping out of that and stepping into a zone that may be uncomfortable at first, but the Lord has ordained every step for us. He knows the plans that He has for us. He knows what's in front of us. He knows what's behind us. He knows what's to the side of us. He knows the ins and outs in our lives. So to close up today's video, um, I would just say to you guys to just take a moment and think about what doors need to be closed in your life and pray about it, trust in the Lord and see how we could close those doors moving forward and how we could level up in the Lord. I hope you guys learned something from this. I hope there's some kind of takeaway and I appreciate feedback for how to improve or what you guys learn. So leave a comment down below, direct message me, anything you guys want to do. And let me know how this video was, being our first video. 
Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day whenever you're watching this. And I hope you guys come back for more. And yeah, the feedback is greatly appreciated. So let me know how it was. Let me know how I can improve. And let me know what you learned from it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.